Hello. So we're going to go through another talk through for IXL. Um, hopefully you are watching this video before you begin. Because if you've already started, that means you haven't seen this and that's not okay. But um, so this is going to be a really important skill. We've been practicing asking this question a lot with algebra questions, so I thought it'd be a great time to practice this skill in regular word problems. So what your task is, is to read each problem and decide, is my answer reasonable? Remember, that's our big question that we're asking all the time. I've solved the problem. I have an answer. Does my answer make sense? So we're going to attack this one first. And then we'll go through maybe one more example to give you guys an idea of what we're going to be looking for today. You ready? All right. So it says, Mia's soccer coach told her to keep track of how much water she drinks. Yesterday, she drank 18 ounces with breakfast, 21 ounces with lunch, and 19 ounces with dinner. She also finished two full 12-ounce bottles of water during soccer practice. You even have a nice little picture down there. Mia works out that she drank 82 ounces of water in total. Does that sound about right? So when I see that word about, I immediately think that I can really check my reasonableness by estimating. So let's talk about our estimating strategies. So I'm gonna come up here. I see the number 18 talking about water because that's important to make sure that it fits the problem. Twenty-one a 19, and two 12-ounce bottles. I want you to take a second to think. If she drank two 12-ounce bottles, that would be how many ounces of water? Think about it. Hopefully you got 24. So we have the number 24. And then you know what we're going to do? Instead of having to deal with the number 18 and the number 21 and the number 19, because they're kind of ugly numbers, we could estimate. Let's see how that works out. The number 18, that's pretty close to 20. Let's hold on to that number. 21, also pretty close to 20. 19, also pretty close to 20. And 24, it's a little high, but if we have 20, 20, 20, and 24, we can add those pretty quickly mentally. 20 plus 20 is 40. 40 plus 20 is 60. 60 plus 20 is 84. My estimate is really close to the answer that Mia worked out. So I think we can say that this would be a yes. Let's see how we did. We got that one correct. Awesome. All right, let's do one more of these together. And this time we're going to try a different strategy where we actually solve the problem and compare it to the answer that they gave. Miss Soto is a teacher with 28 students. Every school day, Miss Soto prints out two pages of worksheets for each of them. There are 81 school days left this year. Miss Soto works out that she will need to print a total of 137 pages in this time. Does that sound about right? Hmm. There's 28 students in her class, and she does two pages of worksheets for each of them. Hmm. So what could we do with 28 and 2? Let's take a second to think about that. Oh, your second's up. So hopefully you thought I could multiply. That means that she does 56 pages every day. If she does 56 pages every day, that is not going to make sense. If there's 81 days of school left, type it in your calculator, 56 times 81. It is going to be way, way, way too big. So her answer is too low. Got that one right. Great job, everybody. 